Assalamualaikum and very good day to Madam Shazwani. My name is Nor Atira Penti Padohisham and my metric number is 20231677 and I'm from AM1101A. Hi, my name is Nurul Afika Amirah binti Irwan. My metric number is 20231606655 and I am from AM1101A. Hi, my name is Nardina Alia and I'm from AM1101A and my metric number is 20231486675. So, firstly, what is annuity? Annuity is a series of equal payments made at equal intervals of time. Annuity also is a sequence of payments made at regular time intervals. The time period in which these payments are made is called the term of the annuity, while payment period is interval between annuity payments. Here are two types of annuity. Firstly, ordinary annuity and simple annuity. So what is ordinary annuity? Ordinary annuity is an annuity in which the payments are made of the end of each payment period. So what is sample annuity? Sample annuity is when the payment period coincides with the interest compounding period. Alright, so the present value of an annuity. The present value P of an annuity of and payments of R ringgit each paid at the end of each investment period into an account that earns interest at the rate of I per period is. Okay, the formula is A minus R bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus I power of negative N over I. Then to find the amount of interest paid of N can be found by a sub subtracting the present value from the total amount paid. So the formula that we use is I equals to N capital R minus A. So for annuity, we got um, the picture there, picture of reference. Uh, this picture of reference for annuity, we got Honda City hatchback. So here we got the loan details, which is the original loan is 109,800 ringgit. And it, it also mentioned that uh, the down payment was uh, 8660. The interest rate was 3% and the duration uh, is 9 years. So here is the case study. Shafinas has bought her first car, a Honda City hatchback at Honda 4RM 109,800 ringgit. She make an initial down payment of 8 RM8660 and has an interest rate of 3% for 9 years. Find the monthly payment. So here we need to find R. So um, here uh, we got A. A refers to the original loan which is um, RM109800 uh, minus RM8660. So we will got RM101140. So for K for the interest rate, uh, we got here 3%. So uh, we will divide by 100. So equal to 0 0.03. So for M, M is compounded every month. So M equal to 12. T uh, refers to time in years. So T, in, T is 9 years. Uh, and I, I refers to periodic interest rate. So I equal to K over M. So I equal to K, K is 0 0.03 over 12 um, and we will got 1 over 400. So for N, N equal to MT, M here we got 12 and T equal to 9. So 12 multiplied by 9, we will got 108. So we will find R. For this question, we will apply um, loan formula um, which is a equal to 1 minus 1 plus i power of negative n over i. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 4, 0 equal to r. 1 minus 1 plus 1 over 400. Um, power of negative 108 over 1 over 400. So we will got 1, 0, 1, 1, 4, 0 equal to r. Bracket 9, 4, 0.545300014 0, 0, 
bracket so 101140 uh, divide by 6 divide by 94545430014 equal to r so r equal to 1069.76 so for the second question uh, immediately immediately after paying for 6 years shafinas wants to settle his debt find the amount needed to settle her debt so this is advance payment uh, which we we need to apply loan formula so we already calculate and got the amount of r so r equal to 1069.76 so i equal to 1 over 400 m equal to 12 t equal to 9 9 years uh, minus 6 years so we will get 3 years so n equal to mt m equal to 12 multiple with 3 so we will get 36 so um, for this question we apply loan formula so en equal to r 1 minus 1 plus i um, power of negative n over i so a36 equal to 1069.76 um, bracket 1 minus 1 plus 1 over 400 bracket power of negative 36 over 1 over 400 so we will get um, 1069.76 uh, bracket 34.3864651 bracket so we will multiply uh, this two so a36 equal to 36785.27 so for the conclusion for annuity an annuity is an investment option that can provide a guaranteed income for an individual or their spouse throughout their retirement. Uh, they are purchased for a set period and pay out a specific amount in retirement based on investment strategy and amount invested. After annuity, we have trade and cash discount. So what is trade and cash discount? Trade discount is a reduction of amount from the list price of the good which the trader allow to the customer at a given rate. Second, cash discount refers to a discount that the seller offers to a buyer in return for paying a bill before the maturity of the, of the due date. Okay, uh, so this is the formula for trade and cash discount that we can use. Picture of reference is from Nuji.com website and the item I want to talk about is sofa. So for the case study, the sofa with the frame is listed at RM2499 and was given 10% discount. Find the net price of the sofa. To highlight, list price is equal to 2499 and D1 equal to 10% or in decimal is 0.1. The solution for the case is net price equal to this price bracket 1 minus D1 2499 in bracket 1 minus 0 0.1 is equal to 22491 Next question What happened to the net price after the seller at 5% discount on the product? This price is equal to 2,499 ringgit. D1 is equal to 0 0.1 and D2 is equal to 0 0.05. So for the last solution, net price is equal to this price. Bracket 1 minus D1 and bracket 1 minus D2. 2,499 bracket 1 minus 0 0.1. Bracket 1 minus 0 0.05 is equal to 2,136.65. Conclusion for trade and cash discount is trade discount a discount given to customers by manufacturers or wholesalers in order to improve sales volume whereas cash discount are given to customers by sellers in order to increase cash flow. I think we have reached at the end of the presentation so I just want to say thank you to Madam Shazwani and see you. Bye!